What's up, Aquarius? It's Crystal with the One Little Crystal Tarot. And this is your incoming energy for the month of September. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. I'm Crystal. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. And for those of you returning, welcome back. I do appreciate you for being here. All right. So I did a pre-shuffle for you guys. And it looks like... You are in a situation where you are wanting reciprocity. Um, you are wanting clarity or you are giving someone clarity on a situation. Like, I get this energy where you are... Um, letting it be known where you stand um, on certain things. Uh, I get that you may be running into someone from your past. Maybe someone from your childhood. Um, or just reconnecting with someone that you once had a connection with. Um, I did get like really big childhood energy. So I don't know um, if it's something going on with whoever you have children with or just children in general. But I'm getting real um, childlike energy from you guys' this pre-shuffle. Uh, there will be healing or you'll at least be working on healing um, for the month of September and it's something with cycles like there's a repeating cycle and I think that you guys are going to start to acknowledge it or realize that um, there is a cycle with something going on here some of you could be blocking someone at this time too um, just realizing that they aren't good for you right now or good or they don't um Support whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish, maybe, or they're, they're just not supportive of you, period. They're not a supportive energy, and, and, you know, they're just maybe a little bit toxic to you. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get into, I feel like this isn't even. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the reading Aquarius and see what we got going on, okay? Using the Chero of Orisha for the top line. The top line um, will be the energy of what's going on on a surface level, what appears to be going on with you. And then I will be clarifying with the Chero, I mean, sorry, with the Power Deck. Miss Cleo's Power Deck is what I'll be using to clarify the bottom line with. Uh, that line represents your inner emotions, what's going on beneath the surface, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. All right, keep in mind, if anything in this reading resonates with you, please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I post a video. This is for the sun, moon, and rising signs of Aquarius. You have the village in reverse. You have four of air. and mermaids Fuck it. in reverse i believe that that may have a reverse meaning let's see you have ace of water and you have eight you have eight of air in reverse All right, let's go ahead and clarify. Why is eight of air in reverse here? Why is eight of air in reverse here? We have ten of swords in reverse, and I picked that up in the pre-shuffle as well. Why is 
the ace of water here. You have the lovers. Mm, okay, Aquarius. <laughs> I see y'all. Why is it Yundans and Mermaids in reverse here? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Why is Four of Air here? The World in reverse. And why is the Village in reverse here? Two of Cups. Aquarius. Y'all got some y'all got some love that's trying to make its way to y'all. There is, um, I feel like it's somebody from the past that you're avoiding. Let me pick my notes back up. Hey there. I feel like it's somebody that you are reuniting with for the month of September. Or I'm not saying that, oh, y'all are going to go and get married and, you know, hop in this marvelous relationship in September. Maybe some of you will, but of course, every, everyone won't. Okay. Some of you, I feel like this would be the start of something solid between you and maybe someone from your past. Or maybe somebody, somebody that you have a maybe a past life connection with is what I see. Um, Yundans and Mermaids. In reverse, clarify by two of pentacles in reverse. This is odd. I'm not even going to lie. This is an odd pair. From what I understand, uh, right, this talks about maybe a profession in like writing, um, like journalism, someone who uh, has the potential of a, like a motivational speaker. Someone who is like in the public eye a lot. That could be some of you. Like you have, like you grab the attention of a lot of people. In reverse though, I think that this could be like. Not being in touch with society in a way, like maybe feeling dehumanized, like you're not totally connected with your empath side. Two of pentacles in reverse. This is a lack of balance. So I get that maybe some of you maybe have shut down your emotional side a little bit or i really feel like for aquarius this is a love reading for most of you i feel like maybe you guys were hurt in the past with this ten of swords being in reverse here and also with the village being in reverse here there was a disaster that happened in the past definitely because we do have the four of air Clarify by the world. So you had some pretty shitty experiences with love or with deep connections. And so maybe this has distorted your perception on love, you know, or deep connections in general. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of it, though. Like you, some of you may not be totally aware that you're... Um, perception is distorted some of you could honestly want love or uh, want deep connections with people but you're just like what the fuck is wrong with me like <laughs> like what's going on and i honestly think that it's something that happened in your past or something some type of relationship with someone has taken a toll on you and it's kind of made you like a repellent a love repellent almost or at least that's the energy that you could possibly give off 
take your high resonates, okay? If you like, uh, that don't sound like me, then that that's not you, okay? That's for somebody else. That's for another Aquarius. All right. But anyways, the good the good news is you do have Ace of Water here, clarified by the lovers. So I think that you guys will be either reconnecting with someone from your past, um, especially with this world card being in reverse because this talks about repeating cycles. Um, so you could be reuniting with someone from your, from your past and trying it again. This doesn't have to be like a recent ex. This could be two or three exes ago. Okay. Um, someone had to heal from the situation. It could be you. It could be the other person. But you guys had to heal and release a lot of hurt and pain. The fact that you guys have two of cups, the lovers, and ace of water here, you guys are going to really be meeting someone that makes you sincerely happy, or you are going to be making someone sincerely happy. But I, I do feel like the, the energy will be reciprocated. Like, it's just not going to be one-sided like it has been in the past. But you're going to have to let your guard down just a little bit, because I did think I, I saw... Um, that was somebody else. Sorry. Um, I feel like for some of you, you're going to have to get rid of... Oh, shit. You're going to have to get rid of... Um, somebody that's just not good for you. Like, some of you could be holding on to somebody that you feel like you're in love with. But they aren't showing you any love. Like, there will be a breakup. For those of you who are in this relationship where there isn't an evil, uh, an evil, <laughs> where there isn't an even give and take, there will be a breakup. There will be because somebody's going to come in and show you something different when you least expect it. Now, watching this reading, you're like, oh, well, I'm going to be expecting it. Not necessarily necessarily because i feel like you're going to be very uh busy focusing on yourself and healing it's, it's going to come unexpectedly and for those of you who are anxious for love don't take this as a sign to go and call your ex no let them come to you they will come to you um hold on a lot of us are in transit when it comes to certain situations. Um, this is either leaving a situation, leaving a job, situation, relationship. So be patient on getting where you're going, okay? Because things have to be set up for you when you get there, okay? Maybe another relationship, maybe another job, whatever. Things have to be situated so that you're locked in and you're secure in this situation that you're getting into, okay? So be patient. But honestly, I think you guys are going to be repairing a relationship. Doesn't always have to be about love, but um, romantic love that is. Some of you are really going to be feeling appreciated, I feel like. And you want to be more tapped into your emotional side. Okay. And I'm not trying to gas you guys up. I just feel like something is going to come in and make you feel good. And I think it's going to be from a person that you least expect. Let's go ahead and get into your Chakra Insight Oracle card for advice. Aquarius, let's see what we got for you for your advice. Okay. Finally, you got intelligence, of course, the intelligent Aquarius. The number 45 may mean something to you. Go ahead and look that up. 
This talks about education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. I said something about y'all um, perception being distorted. Okay, let's see what it's talking about. Okay. Let's see. While modern Western culture tends to judge intelligence based on mental capacity alone, true intelligence is a much more holistic and expansive experience. True intelligence is an interweaving of linear and nonlinear, tangible and energetic structure and creative flow within the mind, body, spirit, and heart. In one sense, intelligence may be activated by expanding our knowledge through teachers, books, and lessons in our external world. In a deeper sense, our true, our true intelligence is an infinite essence that has been within us well before our arrival here at Earth School. <clears throat> and will remain with us long after. Assessing this aspect of ourselves is about taking time to uncover, remember, and trust that which we already have within. This true sense of intelligence may be sparked or revealed by external teaching. But it takes us beyond the pages of the most profound written texts, illuminating our ability to read the patterns of the world and draw deep wisdom from the wellspring of life. This card encourages you to awaken a fuller experience of your own innate intelligence. It is time to integrate new concepts into your current frameworks, to analyze and question the new, but also be willing to question your old concepts. Be open-minded and flexible. Realize that your intelligence is not about surface understanding of facts or theory, but the embodiment of deep inner knowing in the way you live your life. Okay, and that's all I'm going to take from that, Aquarius. So yeah, basically, um, you're going to have to open up a little bit more and understand that it's not just about the way you understand a situation um i get that you have to be a little more open-minded a little more open-minded about what's happening be a little more open-minded about the change that could be happening in your life and not be so, like, literal or logical about things. Because everything isn't logical. Like, some things just happen and you just really don't know why. There, there really isn't an explanation as to why it's happened. Or, you know, some, some things just, there is no logic. It's just the way things are. So, I think this is why you're having to kind of, um expand your perception just to be more open and let that harmony that peace and that that prosperity come into your life like it's trying to do or at least it's trying to take you there for the month of september but all right aquarius that's what i have for you today if you guys would like a more tailored reading click the description box below for further details on how to book a reading with me okay um if anything in this reading resonated with you please hit the like button share comment subscribe to the channel and um as always if no one tells you today i love you i love you i love you okay peace love and light